Don't be caught offside and don't miss a single pass of the FIFA World Cup as we bring you incisive commentary and predictions from the penalty box. From precision strikes to superb defence and attacking free kicks, visit Dave's Corner Shop to enjoy all the action from Qatar. Good day football fans and welcome to the Corner Shop. So let's look at who's playing who today and what's likely to happen at Qatar World Cup 2022. It's day 11 at the World Cup in Qatar and today we're going to see Group C and Group D settled. Now yesterday we saw Netherlands and Senegal go through in Group A. England and the USA went through in Group B. Good for them. Today it's Poland on four points versus Argentina on three and Saudi Arabia on three points versus Mexico. All four teams still in the mix and the two top sides playing against each other. Now, when I looked at this group, there are at least eight permutations, eight possible things that could happen today. Win, draw, lose, this one beating that one, that one maybe scoring more goals than the other. Now, I predicted at the start Argentina and Mexico to go through. For that to happen, Argentina must beat Poland today. It's a big ask, that one. Mexico must beat Saudi Arabia and they of course are the ones who had that surprise win over Argentina but I'm going to stick with my prediction Argentina and Mexico to go through in Group C. Group D is a whole lot easier to predict. We have Australia playing against Denmark, we have Tunisia up against France and France are already through and one just cannot see them losing to Tunisia. That means the fight is simply for second place between Australia and Denmark. If Australia win or draw, they through. But if Denmark win, they're the ones going through. I said at the start it's going to be France and Denmark to go through. I'm going to stick with that. I think Denmark is just going to pip Australia. 